when a mother delivers the child through the vagina it is called a vaginal delivery or a normal delivery or a natural delivery now definitely this is the most preferred and natural form of delivery provided it is safe for you and your baby if either of you the safety of either of you is compromised then the best way at that point of time to deliver is by a cesarean birth i dr sudesh nare will today give you some tips on how to have a natural delivery or a normal delivery tip number 1 having a pregnancy between 20 to 34 years of age i'm talking about the age of a female partner increases the chance of having a normal delivery the tissues are uh, rigid and they are unfavorable to stretch which is needed for a child birth for a natural child birth before the age of 18 years and after the age of 35 years tip number 2 having a pregnancy without any complications like a twin pregnancy or a triplet pregnancy or a pregnancy complicated with any chronic diseases like a blood pressure or a diabetes or any other chronic diseases increases the chances of a normal delivery if you do not have these problems so try and enter the pregnancy at your healthiest tip number 3 baby birth after full 9 months of pregnancy has a higher chance of a natural birth now premature babies or sometimes even post dated babies have a higher chance of a cesarean birth tip number 4 empower yourself with adequate knowledge you can read the recommended and authentic books but best is to talk it out with your doctor get your questions answered get your doubts cleared by your doctor a positive prepared mind always works wonders tip number 5 focus on hearing the positive birth stories please keep yourself away from horror stories tip number 6 stay fit and active during your pregnancy any form of exercise is actually good for pregnancy provided it is supervised and it is recommended in the later half of the pregnancy you probably have to uh, emphasize or you probably have to concentrate more on pelvic floor exercises such as pelvic muscle stretching kegels ashwan mudra duck walking squats etc during the labor process certain positions and uh, certain exercises help immensely in the process of labor talk to your doctor talk to your yoga instructor regarding the same please remember that exercise during pregnancy has always have to be supervised and recommended by your doctor tip number 7 train yourself towards calmness and towards endurance by doing a lot of breathing exercises by doing a lot of relaxation techniques this will actually reduce your anxiety and help you tolerate the labor pains much better tip number 8 the calmer you are during labor the more positive you are the more positive you are the more your body responds to the positive to the labor hormones that you have and thus uh, it is easier for you to have a normal delivery you can choose any uh, form of pain relief either through your relaxation techniques or through gas inhalation or through epidural analgesia it definitely helps to endure pain much better tip number 9 while you are in labor try to have only one person in the same room having one person whoever you want to uh, in the same room during the labor process has shown to have a big positive effect you can also use a little calm music um a dim lighted room or some aromatic candles to make the environment more helpful tip number 10 prepare yourself for any kind of emergencies during the labor process things might not go the way it is planned to it might take longer it might take shorter it might also end up in having an emergency cesarean section please don't feel cheated at any point of time discuss these possibilities with your doctor beforehand and accept i mean try to train yourself to accept any emergencies that come during the process of labor i repeat myself having a vaginal birth 
is called a natural birth it's called a normal delivery and it's definitely the most preferred way of delivery provided it is safe for the mother and the baby if with all the preparation you cannot have a vaginal delivery you cannot have a normal delivery and end up in having a cesarean birth please do not feel let down how you give birth to a baby actually does not determine how good a mother you would be subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us